More deadly chaos at the Augusta State Medical Prison in the news on Thursday, May 20th, 2021. The Columbia County Coroner's Office was called out to the prison for an inmate who had hung himself. Now, the inmate was placed in a cell with another inmate with mental health issues, and he was able to rip up strips of his bed sheet to make a noose and hang himself, authorities tell me. Now, he has been identified as Christopher Jerome Johnson, a 43-year-old inmate serving time out of Cherokee County for armed robbery, aggravated assault, and inter interference with custody. That's a photo of him on the screen. Now, an inmate suicide wouldn't be so shocking if it didn't come with a lot of other questionable events at the prison under Warden Michael Paschal. Let's take a look at Warden Michael Paschal. Um, he, um, um, in fact, authorities went to investigate the suicide. They were told cameras weren't working working in certain areas. We're told the case has been referred to the GBI. There are reasons why local leaders are calling for the warden to be replaced. Oddly enough, he was just installed in January. Michael Pascal was given responsibility for supervising and managing about 190 security staff members and 1,840 medium security male offenders at the facility. But let's take a look at what has happened in his short tenure. Right after uh, Pascal started, inmate Terry Lee Bennett um, was violently killed by his cellmate. So let's take a look at uh, Bennett. This is, uh, this is Bennett who uh, had died in January. Uh, in his cell and um, Deontay Holsey 26 is accused of beating Bennett in the head with a dinner tray on January 9th and causing his death Bennett was 43 here's a look at the uh, suspect in that case his cellmate Deontay Holsey now um, Holsey has been formally charged with murder by Columbia County authorities since the prison is in Grovetown the two were longtime cellmates Holsey serving time for credit card fraud and Bennett racking up time for armed robbery and parole violations. Bennett's daughter, 20-year-old uh, Kaylin McBride of Arkansas, said he didn't deserve to die this way. Now, we talked to Kaylin, and we want to show you what Kaylin um, looks like. There's Kaylin. Um, she, she got to see his body before burial and said that her dad didn't look like himself. In fact, she sent us photos of it and, and uh, talked about... Uh, <clears throat> the questionable things that were happening at the jail. Um, so that's the photo there that she took uh, of him when she got to see him. Um, she said she got very little information from prison officials, only bits that have leaked out. McBride claims that guards were supposed to check the cells every 15 minutes, yet an argument reportedly started between Bennett and Holsey around 6 p.m. on the date of his death and ended a little after 9 p.m. when prison officials finally came in to get her father's body. Um, she said the January 12th arrest of uh, Augusta State Medical Prison Guard Couture Dunbar, let's let, take a look at Bun Dunbar, is just proof that drugs are prevalent in the facility and nothing's being done there. Um, now, as far as Dunbar, uh, the guard allegedly came inside the medical prison with marijuana and meth while arriving for work. Um, and then in February, another correctional uh, institution, a correctional officer was busted at the Augusta State Medical Prison after she schemed to get cell phones to an inmate. Let's take a look at her. This is Jerry Anna Davis of 24 of Louisville. She was a guard there. And um, Davis's alleged scheme was sneaky. Now, she concealed multiple cell phones in a bathroom at Augusta State University Hospital, allegedly, where the inmate had a scheduled doctor's visit on the afternoon of February 10th. The plan unraveled quickly, and Superior Court Judge Daniel Craig issued warrants against her on February 11th. Now, back to this murder. Um, let's, uh, McBride says that Holsey is known by a nickname of Homicide. She said she knows this because he texted her repeatedly from prison, talking about her father and even flirting with her. In one video, both Bennett and Holsey laughed together for the camera raises the whole question of how cameras are operating inside medical prisons but let's take a look at this video um, and let's just see this again inside prison where he apparently has a Facebook page operational and is able to text people yo man we in the mall we just ain't good nigga just nigga ain't dirty man hey, it's my email it's my email he trying to get out of the hell get out right now this type of shit yeah Trash, trash, dirty white trash. Yeah, when this motherfucker better than shout. So there they go. There's your murder suspect and your murder victim together in one video. 
Um, McBride said that um, uh, um, her father was actually scared of Holsey and asked to be removed from his cell. He was initially removed but later brought back. Holsey was motivated to kill Bennett from drugs that should not have been available inside prison, McBride said. She called the medical prison one of the dirtiest prisons in the state and she's furious that nothing more was done to protect her father. It wasn't the only death at the prison this year under chaotic circumstances. Uh, other media have reported, and other media have reported on the horrible conditions at Augusta State Medical Prison, which is run by Georgia Correctional Health Care. Um, they've actually, within the last year, they've had a fire death at the prison uh, that uh, 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 EMS officials were not allowed to get in there immediately. But a, a, a inmate has apparently. Um, set his mattress on fire um, causing that death after a smoke inhalation um, but the outcomes are deadly at Augusta State Medical Prison last May convicted killer Daniel Ferguson was being housed at Augusta State Medical Prison when he allegedly strangled inmate Eddie Gozier who was serving time for child molestation let's take a look at that one um, this is Daniel Ferguson, uh, who we reported on this last year, and um, Ferguson's history is frightening. Um, in 2008, he murdered the 94-year-old man who lived across the street from him. At the time, Ferguson was just 17 and was sentenced to life in prison. Um, but in 2013, inmate Damian McLean, let's take a look at Damian, um, one of the only pictures we have of Damien here, but uh, Damien Klain died from injuries after a fight from Ferguson at Hayes Prison, according to the GBI. Now, McLean was strangled in his bed late at night after the door should have been locked, um, strangled by Ferguson. McLean was serving time for armed robbery convictions. Ferguson was charged in that slain. In November of 2019, McLean's family settled its lawsuit against Georgia's prison system for $350,000. Now, the victim's mother had wanted the state held accountable for ignoring the ruthless gang violence and dangerous conditions where cell door locks were left broken or could be defeated only with a napkin, according to media reports. So the failure of prison officials to stop the violence, suicides, drugs, and cell phones that are happening have real consequences, as you can see. We will see what happens with the investigation into the latest death at Augusta State Medical Prison. So stay tuned.